What goes up must come down. But when the object in question is an amateur rocket going miles straight up, where it comes down can be anyone's yeah, guess. It looks like it's going to come down in the cornfield. In case that is heading toward the corn, I'm going to run out there. Not surprisingly, searching for lost rockets is a big part of the life of any rocket builder. That's the one thing about model rockets is you never know which way they're really going to go. All you can do is push the button, watch it go up, and wherever the wind takes it is where you got to go to get it back. Since larger rockets require a wide rural area to launch, swamps, crops, and farmland are the field of nightmares for rocket finders. Sometimes when you lose them out in the corn like this, about the only way to find them is to get a line of people and just, just start walking the rows. When you're walking in 10 foot tall corn and all you can see is maybe the sun, it's a challenge. Okay guys, it can get pretty discouraging when you're out there hunting all on your own, but hey, a bunch of other people said, hey, we'll go help you look for it. And that makes all the difference in the world. Luckily, technology has also made the search easier. A device called a rocket hunter uses global positioning technology to pinpoint where a wayward rocket has landed. Slightly more old school is the sonic beeper, which emits a chirp to announce its location. After years of searching for rockets, Brad Wilson is pitch perfect with this technique. Did you hear that? It sounds like it's further this way. Well, I found some cord. So there's going to be a rocket on one end of it and a rocket on the other end of it. Ta -da. Once you've found it, you're only halfway home. The long walk back is where you really find out who your friends are. You know, just being out here by myself flying rockets, I think I get kind of tired of that after a while. But to actually have friends makes a big difference. Amen, Reverend.